In this chapter, we are going to use an actual inverter. This is the Mitsubishi General Purpose Inverter FRE 700 series. This series has a lineup of highly functional, compact inverters that are used for conveyors, film winding machines for food packaging, and so on. The design is simple, and an operation panel is mounted at the upper front of the body with LED indicators to show the operation status. With the USB connectors mounted, a PC and inverter can be connected with a USB cable. Now let's remove the cover to perform power supply wiring. As the power voltage is high and dangerous, the inverter is designed not to be touched directly. To prevent electric shock, never ever remove the covers with the power on. First, make sure the power is off, and then you can remove the front cover. To remove the cover, hold and pull it toward you as indicated with an arrow. After the front cover is removed, you can see the terminal block and the PU connector for connecting external equipment. Next, let's remove the wiring cover for power supply wiring. To remove it, hold both sides of the cover as indicated with an arrow and pull it toward you. To ensure safety, the wiring cover is designed not to allow users to touch the metallic parts of the power supply. As it looks like a comb, it's called a comb-shaped wiring cover. Next, let's connect the inverter to the power supply. There are two types of power supply that can be used for the inverter single-phase two-wire power supply and three-phase three-wire power supply. These terms may not sound familiar. Single-phase two-wire system electric power is used for home electric appliances and small electric equipment. Three-phase three-wire system electric power is for large electric equipment in factories. First, please make sure the power is off. Then, connect the power cords to the inverter terminals. Connect the single-phase two-wire power cables to the main circuit terminal L1 and L2. Connect the three-phase three-wire power cables to the main circuit terminals R, S, and T. Let's connect the motor next. Do not attempt any wiring work while the power is still on. To avoid shock hazards, do not touch any terminals of the main circuit power supply. Use the main circuit terminal U, V, and W of the inverter to connect the motor to the inverter. Next, attach the comb-shaped wiring cover. Make sure to keep one motor wire between the teeth of the wiring cover and to fit the cover to the inverter along the guides. Attach the front cover straight to the front of the inverter body. Now the inverter is ready to use.